Ever wondered why your smartphone's battery lasts longer than your laptop's, or why the LCN chip is making headlines? Today, we're nodding into the fascinating world of ARM versus x86 architectures. When it comes to the brains of our devices, the processors, there are two main players, ARM and x86. The x86 architecture, championed by giants like Intel and AMD, has been the backbone of personal computers and servers for decades. On the other hand, ARM, used in almost all smartphones and increasingly in laptops, with Apple's M-series chips leading the charge, is known for its energy efficiency and compact design. But what makes these architectures so different, and why are they suited for different tasks? We're about to find out, starting with a look at their performance capabilities. Now, let's talk performance. The x86 architecture, especially in CPS from Intel and AMD, is known for its high computing power. This makes it a go-to choice for demanding tasks like gaming, video editing, and heavy-duty software development. In contrast, ARM architecture, while traditionally less powerful in raw computing terms, shines in efficiency. This is where devices like smartphones benefit hugely, offering longer battery life and sleeker designs. But don't be fooled. ARM is catching up in performance, too. Apple's M chip is a testament to this, delivering impressive power in a more energy-efficient package. So what's behind these differences? It's all in the design. x 6 chips typically use more complex instruction sets, allowing for a wider range of tasks at the cost of higher power consumption. ARM with its simpler streamlined instruction set focuses on efficiency, consuming less power for each operation. This distinction is crucial in understanding why we're seeing a shift in the industry with ARM architecture making its way into more laptops and even desktops challenging the long-held dominance of x86. As we look to the future, the line between ARM and x86 is blurring. The rise of ARM in traditional x86 strongholds, like laptops and even some server applications, speaks volumes. Companies like Apple with their M-series chips are leading this charge, showing that ARM's efficiency doesn't have to compromise power. On the flip side, Intel and AMD are not standing still. They're continuously innovating, making their x86 processors more power efficient while pushing the limits of performance. This competition is fostering a new era of computing, where the choice between ARM and x86 will depend more on specific use cases rather than clear-cut advantages. In terms of availability, x86 processors are ubiquitous in the current market, especially in desktops and high-performance laptops. However, with the growing popularity of ARM, especially in portable and energy-efficient devices, we're likely to see a more diverse range of options for consumers and professionals alike. In summary, whether it's the power-hungry x86 chips in high-end gaming rigs and servers or the efficiency-first ARM processors in the latest smartphones and ultra-portable laptops, the future of computing is more exciting than ever. As technology evolves, so do our choices, and understanding these differences is key to making the best decision for our needs. And that's a wrap on ARM versus x86 architectures. Which one do you think will lead the future of computing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.